Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Wednesday the 14th, is it the 14th? Hang on. Wednesday the 14th, Wednesday the 14th of April, 2021, and Venus enters Taurus. There you go, Venus enters Taurus. That is the astrological news. Right, intuition. Having another quick look at Tarot for Transformation by Andy Matzner. He's talking about intuition and he does a, a quote from Neil Strauss. Gut feelings are guardian angels. Yes. Strauss is right. Etymologically, the word intuition originally comes from the Latin roots in, meaning at, on and to airy, to look at and watch over. So yes, your intuition is there to take care of you and keep you safe. Indeed, the opposite of conscious reasoning intuition, hang on, indeed, the opposite of conscious reasoning, intuition is that messenger of loving truth which resides within us. Whether coming from our gut or our soul, it bridges the gap between our unconscious and conscious selves. Underneath layers of logic and social programming, this deep knowing seeks to communicate with us directly, immediately and clearly if we give it a chance. Intuition is important because it instantly expresses the fact of a matter. So give yourself all the time and space to access it. Recognise when it's speaking to you and let it pass through your layers of fear and leave a comment in the comment section how your intuition comes to you, how you know, okay? Accept it without judgment and you'll be glad you did. After all, we typically regret the things we didn't do. Mm, maybe. You know, those times when we knew the answer intuitively but talked ourselves out of it from a rational perspective, yes. That's often where remorse lives, yes. There are a multitude of ways to access your intuition. Meditation, solitude, visualization, keeping a dream journal, shamanic journeying, hallucinogenic, oh, hallucinogenic, have I been on the hallucinogenic? I'm not gonna say that one because I'm really not recommending it. Creative expression through poetry and other forms of writing, visual art, play, dance, movement, music making and singing. There you go, let me know where you get your best intuition. I think I've told you before that I get mine when I'm driving a car or a van used to drive a van, I know, I wasn't very good at it. Um, when else do I get it? Uh, not walking actually, doing something like driving or doing something really mundane that is not at all spiritual, I'll get intuition. Used to get it when I did, I did accountancy, I know, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, I was actually weirdly quite good at it but not because of my good maths, but more because of like number spotting and intuition. I did intuitive accounting. Yeah, so it used to happen then. Man, I've forgotten about that, that was mad. Okay. Just to be clear, I am not recommending hallucinogenics in any form at all. Okay. Who needs them when you've got gemstone tarot? We're using, I knew that would come up. We are using the Rider Way, old school. I want to look at something here. See, yeah, I can't see it on there. So having a look at this book by Andy Matzner, he reckoned the magician has an Ouroboros snake as a tie around his waist. But looking at the Rider Way, I can't see that. Okay. The magician is in the reverse, but it's still here. This is about our own agency, and I think it's about our own intuition, because the high priestess comes up, who is the queen of intuition. I mean, she is stuffed here with intuition and intuitive ways of doing things. And to be honest, when we look back at how high priestesses used to operate, fairly weird ways of doing things that they don't really apologize for. I think that is the lesson of the day. The weird way about it needs no apology. So if you're having a big decision to make or even a small decision to make or any kind of fork in the road or whatever it is, any dilemma, 
no and you don't really need telling this because i know you're an intuitive bunch anyway but it's the people with the best intuition that ignore it the most i find you know who you are and leave me a comment if you've done it because I don't know why, but I think there's a correlation between maybe a lack of confidence in childhood or a testing childhood and developing really good intuition. And I think what that means, a little bit like the Greek myth of Cassandra, is that you have it, but you don't trust yourself. And that's where we're at in this reading. You know it and you don't trust it. You don't trust yourself, which probably irritates you about yourself, but don't take it out on yourself either. Be soft, be kind, be gentle and listen. There's something you've put a lot of effort into. We've got the seven of pentacles in reverse and this came up yesterday, which is the I've put effort into this and now I'm wondering if it's worth continuing, expanding, investing any more, letting that person in on it, whatever it is. Could be a relationship, could be a job, um, there's a lot of pentacles knocking around earth energy still and then we've got the eight of pentacles in reverse I put myself out I do these things I knock out these pentacles eights of course the activity the movement card of the tarot so I turn up to work I da -la 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 or whatever I do and then I go home do they appreciate me should I be doing something different do I know I should be moving on do I know in my gut but I fear because whatever it is okay so we have also for this one and this is something I'm trying to remember moon water tarot moon water tarot she's not been on for ages and I think she was the first I hope that's what she's called Joanna she was called she was uh, the first tarot reader I watched on YouTube and she had a cat I know, and look where we are. So kudos if you're out there. I love you. Anyway, she used to talk about, and I thought this was really interesting, the eight of pentacles can be the spine as well, physically. Sometimes when we're doing something, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I have, with resentment, which quite often involves your job, <laughs> in my experience, um, you get some lower back issues especially if it's resentment, effort and finance, or rather a lack of it, a lack of being rewarded properly. It's like having something heavy on your back. So just know that that might also, twinges might be telling you something. And when I look at that, sometimes I look at um, You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. There's an index, which you can get online actually, I think. And you can just look up the ailment and she will tell you the corresponding bitter emotion <laughs> that is behind it. <laughs> I swear to God, it's resentment. Okay, so you're not sure. Seven of pentacles in reverse, eight of pentacles in reverse. Am I doing the right thing? It's like a cat. Am I doing the right thing? Should I put yet more effort into this? What I would say is at the moment, there's no clear way out because we've got the six of swords in reverse, which is moving on from choppy water to the clearer water, usually with the help of someone else's knowledge, mind, assistance, power, whatever. The shop might be a bit shut on that front. Might not be time to bust a move just yet, but let that seed of whatever it is that you're feeling grow and then just observe because I think things are going to change a bit in this situation too. Knight of Wands, a visitor, a message, an energy, it's fast, it's fire again. It's probably a bit unexpected and quite sudden and short-lived, but quite good. It can be somebody else entering the situation who's quite loud, maybe a fire sign and confident, and they sort of bust through all this passive aggression that I can feel with this. And also the Nine of Cups, the emotional wish card, Jupiter in Pisces, Yum. I mean, it's a lovely card, but it's also about really holding out for what you wish for. I'm going to take a shamanic. I hope to God I've got the book. I'm going to move my shadowing tarot for transformation. It's the only thing with that book. It's too big. It's too, it's too big for me. Other people might like it. I 
I find out I haven't got strong enough hands to hold the book. Right. Well, we're doing it on a wing and a prayer because I don't know where the book is for these, but that's okay. Because it's fine. Love this, actually. We get flow. That's your intuition. And your flow may have been quite interrupted, but nevertheless, you're gonna have it, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna get those, the gut feelings that we talked about in the weird and wonderful ways that you personally receive them, which you don't really need to explain or apologize for to anybody else. Okay. Clean it up. We always get this one when you only need to clean your side of the street. Also, for me, it's when I get my intuitions is when I'm doing cleaning, which doesn't happen all that often, if I can help it. Mundane tasks might lead to some real um, aha moments. God, I keep getting that. Full moon celebration. When is the full? Oh, yes. We've got a full moon in Scorpio, haven't we? It's pretty biggie, that one. Between now, the new moon, lovely, sparkly new moon energy goes to this full moon, super moon. Pluto goes retrograde, 27th. This is between now and then. Interesting energy. And of course, in between that, We've got the sun moving into Taurus on the 19th of April. Something shifts. I like this. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.